Good afternoon, everyone. Aaron here from the Woolly Bugger Fly Company, bringing you your weekly Yakima River Fly Fishing Report from the upper Yakima River via the Cleelum Stretch. Fishing right now, pretty dang good. Uh, at least uh, the earlier half of the day or the later half of the day. The middle of the day has kind of been hit and miss. Some days it uh, fishes through the mid middle of the day. Other days it's a little bit slower. Uh, so on those hot days, a little earlier start certainly going to be beneficial or uh, starting in the late afternoon fishing into the late evening midday not so great when it's hot and we've certainly been experiencing some heat here uh, water levels are at about 4600 ish uh, in the Cleelum section so good water flows water temps have remained very good so we're, we have no concerns there uh, dry fly fishing pretty fantastic dry dropper uh, nymphing and that uh, deeper faster stuff uh, near the bottom also producing good fish. Flies underneath, stonefly caddis, uh, any generic mayfly imitation. Kind of getting beyond surface activity, insects that you're going to see coming out of the river on the surface. A few PMDs kicking around, a few caddis in the late afternoon, early evening. Uh, but that's pretty much it for insects right now. So kind of focus heavy on the terrestrials, your hoppers, your ants, your beetles. Hoppers are around even in the upper river right now. So certainly through the whole river system, there are hoppers. Shortly here, we're going to start seeing summer stones. So that's kind of the next big bug on the radar. Summer stone and uh, then obviously crane fly, uh, caddis and blue wings. Kind of that late summer fall fishing that everybody looks forward to. Anyhow, hope everyone's having a fantastic week. River conditions, excellent. If you're out here, be very careful wade fishing. A lot of water moving down the river as it always does in the summertime if you're floating keep an eye out a lot of stuff moving around right now uh, daily stuff is moving around so head on a swivel if you're floating call your fly shop or our fly shop for any hazards if you don't if you have not been on the water recently hey everybody this is steve from the whirly bogger it's thursday the 18th of july and we are in the summer heat wave here in the uh, Kittitas Valley. It is very, very warm. Having triple digit heat by the afternoon. Right now it's about 85. Bright sun. The river is full of water. This is actually a channel that we're in not the main stem the main stem is over on the other side here so you can just imagine how much water's in the river pushing down so big big volumes of summer water you, you got to really do your homework uh you know don't expect to come over to the river and do a lot of wade fishing around i mean you can see the brush lines now too with all this heat that we're having you know really growing see the opposite bank I mean that's what you got to contend with if you're come over and you try and wade fish the river or bank fish you're really gonna find you know lots and lots of thick vegetation so very hard without a boat so whether you have a friend or hire a guide Whatever it is, you know, uh, if you plan on coming to the Yakima, this is what you're going to find. You're going to find lots of water. And we've had lots of folks in the fly shop, you know, the last couple of weeks that are 
really surprised when they come in and see the amount of water in the river. So you really got to do your homework. The Yakima is a very unique river in the way that it operates during the summer. Most rivers are dropping in flow during the summer. The Yakima is increasing for irrigation demands, especially with this heat wave that we got going. The hotter it gets, the bigger demand there is for, for more water. Not only in Kittitas Valley here, but Yakima and also Benton County, all the way to the Tri-Cities where they're, you know, they're doing lots and lots of farming. So, big, big water in the river. What does that mean for fishing? Fishing has been very, very good. Rainbow. Get tired, dude. Yeah, that's some pretty good current. He's smart. Dang. There we go. But when I say that, you know. You have to really, really be on your game this time of year with, with these flows that are that are moving at excess speeds. You gotta really have great control, line control, great mending control. Lazy fisherman, you're not gonna do very good. You're, you're really gonna have a poor day of fishing on the river. Yeah, that's, that's heavier than normal. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, it's like you took your nip. This is an exceptional fishery, you know, and there, there, there's a lot of talk going around the industry now about we're seeing it coming out of Montana, we're seeing it coming out of Wyoming, Colorado, you know, there's lots of talk in the industry about the types of fishermen that are out here now, the types of fly fishermen, just poor, poor anglers, you know, not taking any pride, you know, in their fishing ability. You know, in order to catch a big fish, you gotta ha you gotta have the ability to do it, to actually, you know, put the fly where it needs to be, hook the fish, and actually fight it and land it. Especially in our river, big fish don't come easy. You can hook them, but most people, once they get them on the line, they're totally surprised and they're they're overtaken by the power and the strength of these fish. Our fish don't just roll over and come in and give up. They don't know that you're gonna release them. They fight to the very end, so. <clears throat> on these hot summer days, you wanna make sure that you are reviving them very well. But, you know, we're just seeing more and more people that are, you know, they have, they have great expectations. When they come out, they hire a guide. And it doesn't matter. The worst guide on the river wants to put you on fish, but you have to understand that with you being a fly fish, I mean, it's all within your ability, you know, to cast the line, mend the line, get the fly floating. It's absolutely crucial on our river. Dead drifts are absolute crucial. The fly, the fly is only a, a small, small element. I mean, there's 10 billion flies, you know, and there's more being created every day. So it's more about your ability to present the fly and present the fly correctly. And if you can do so on the river, you'll reap the rewards. Especially this time of year when we have triple digit heat, the water temperature's in check. You know, it's, it's about 58 today when I took it. Uh, the dissolved oxygen content has gotta be, gotta be super, super high uh, with the water temperature remaining in the 50s. And it's gotta be colder upstream too, at least right now. So that means the dissolved oxygen content is even higher. So just keep that in mind. You know, you can always call the fly shop for advice. You know, we're willing to help people that really want to become better at the sport of fly fishing. And just keep in mind, I mean, if you're just getting into it, this is like any sport. You just, you have to do it 
you have to do it more and more. And each time that you go, you should you should be learning and you should be progressing and getting better. So expect, you know, the rest of the month of July, you're gonna you're gonna see big flows in the river, and uh, we'll just see what August produces with lower water in the reservoirs this year. They may start dropping the the river early this year. It's just you know. They just don't really inform us, so we just kind of take what we can get. But with all this heat, you know, the dry fly fishing in the morning has been really good with hoppers, you know, lots of flying ants around coming out of the cottonwoods. There's still a few mayflies around in the cooler parts of the day, a few, few PMDs. Um, and uh, of course, grasshoppers, you know, with, with you know, all the grass. You know, the green grass, the tan grass in the canyon. Been really, really good. And that will continue on for the, the next, you know, six weeks. It'll be a big terrestrial show. You know, until the until the flows drop in September. And then we get uh, our fall fishing begins and we get crane flies and short wing stones. Return of a few mayflies. So, if you want to get out and do some summer fishing, give us a call. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the pro shop. Greg, David, myself, glad to help you. Until then, everybody, uh, enjoy your weekend. Uh, stay safe out there. Live to fish another day. Hope everyone's having a fantastic week. If you would like to fish with us, call the pro shop get your date on the books love to see you out here we're starting into that time of the year when the fishing is going to be absolutely fantastic again so think ahead make sure you get a spot tight lines and i hope to see you all out here